hello and welcome to Thursday's Look North, live from South Shields, tonight. We look forward to the Great North Passion, a unique Easter event expected to attract thousands of visitors. Singers, dancers and graffiti artists from our local communities tell an extraordinary story housed in 50 shipping containers. OK, over to Sharuna now, who's getting down with the kids. Well, I'm trying to, Jeff, but I don't seem to have my spray can on me at the moment. But look at this. How impressive is this shipping container? This is some graffiti. Um, and this is all part of a project. Let's go over here and speak to the people responsible. Sandy, tell me about your project. Well, our project's based at Sage Gateshead, and what we've done is we've worked with various members of the community to really sort of come together using the art forms of spray paint, dance and music to really express what the theme is. And with you is Reverend Jim. I understand that you are the only arts chaplain in the country. What on earth does that mean? Well, I help people to share their, their own personal stories through the medium of the arts and to then use that as a springboard to help them connect with the, uh, with the Bible, really, with the Gospel. And you've been working with these lads here. Let's go over here. Hello, boys. I understand this is some of your handiwork. Tell me how much have you enjoyed being part of this project? Oh, it's been brilliant starting off with the container and then evolving it into a wonderful piece of art. It's really enjoyable. And you've had a good time yeah, too? Yeah, it's been really good, like, doing all the different um, colours and getting involved with um, the well, project. It, it looks fantastic. Now, let's quickly go over here and talk to a booming presence here on site. Graham Danby, opera singer, choir master extraordinaire. Everything. What have you, what have you been doing? I've been uh, working with uh, Pod 7. St Andrew's Church, which has been a fantastic experience of uh, working with uh, my students from the University of Sunderland, who of course are one of the partners in this project. Uh, we've got uh, a lovely composer in Will Todd, who's from Durham, so our piece has a really good element of the North East involved in it, with both performer and uh, writer. So you got all these people together and basically formed a choir. Yeah, we did. We got them all together. You know, I haven't had a massive to do with it, with the actual singing of it. Uh, you know, I've got enough to do with it, with a piece that's just been newly composed for me. But hey, let's rock with it and let's go with it. It's going to be a fantastic morning. And I couldn't possibly let you go without asking you to belt out a bit of a number. Are you Graham? sure about that? Well, I'll put the microphone near. Let's right. see what happens. I am searching for a love, a love that was lost, a love that we've known from the start. There was a taster. Oh, is that wet your appetite? It's wet mine. You don't even need the microphone, do you? Not really, no. Not really. Let's go back to Jeff, find out what he's up to. OK, thanks for that, Sharon, and thanks to Graham as well. Just one of the great performers you can catch tomorrow. And tomorrow morning, BBC Newcastle's Alfie Joey and Charlie Charlton will be live here on the radio from 9 until 12, bringing you the stories of the performers and the communities involved in the staging of this live event. And you can see the Great North Passion live from Bent's Park in South Shields on BBC One between 12 and 1pm tomorrow. There'll also be further information online at BBC Local Live.